there, if you're watching this video, then I'm assuming that you already watched yung ating video lesson on inverse proportions. If you haven't seen that video yet, don't forget to click right here dito sa taas to catch up kasi it'll make more sense for you to answer the quiz kung naintindihan nyo na yung unang lesson. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung lesson at hindi nyo pa to alam, baka maging a little bit difficult ito para sa inyo. Okay? So, if you want to catch all the lessons that I make, I make at least one new video lesson every week. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para wala kayong mamiss. There are more of these coming up. Okay? And again, if you haven't seen the video lesson on ratio rotation, you may have a hard time understanding the explanation dito. So, if you haven't yet, go ahead and pause this muna and watch the uh, preceding lessons muna. Okay? Now, I have three questions right here for you that you can uh, try out for free. I will give you five minutes to answer all three questions. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to explain kung paano makuha yung tamang sagot. Okay? Are you ready? Let's do this. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay? Tingnan natin. Let's start with the first question. Ang sabi, six weavers need 27 days to weave a tapestry. How long would it take nine people to finish the same one? So again, the first question, decision making muna natin, is it a direct or inverse proportion? Okay? Now, we started with six weavers. Magiging nine weavers na lang sila. They're finishing the same tapestry, right? I mean, we deal with time. Okay, of course, ibig sabihin nun, kung dati, six, yung 6 weavers, 27 days, kung magdadagdag ako ng trabahante, will the answer be higher or lower than 27 days? Siyempre, kung magdadagdag ako ng trabahante, bab, ano eh, mas, it'll take them less time to finish the tapestry. At dahil doon, we know that this is an inverse proportion. So, when we start with 6 weavers, and then you have 9 weavers na, okay, ano ang mangyayari? Again, dapat, ang answer mo would be 
less than 27. At dahil ito dumami, ito kumonte, dapat yung 27 days, hindi mo siya itatapat sa 6. Instead, you put it down below. So, 27 days. Naharap natin kung ilang araw yung isa. So, again, this is an inverse proportion. So, gagawin natin, iikutin lang natin siya. You can start here para walang problema. Kasi yung 27 naman, pwede mo i-divide sa 9. So, 27 divided by 9, that is 3. Okay? And then, times 6, you have 18. So, the answer is 18 days. Again, just to make sure na tama yung sagot natin, balikan natin yung tanong. Yung 6 weavers, 27 days, ang hinahanap natin has to be less than 27 kasi nagdagdag ka ng weavers. Dati, 6, ngayon 9 na lang. So, the answer would be 18 days, which is lower than 27. So, tama tayo dyan. Okay? So, I hope you got that right. Now, let's move on to the next question. So, number 2, 7 drillers can drill a well in 63 days. How long would it take 9 drillers to drill a well? Okay? So, again, 7 drillers, nagsimula ka sa 7, naging 9. Now, ang sabi natin, again, you have to check kung ito ay direct or inverse proportion. In this case, dahil yung 7 drillers naging 9, dumami siya. Itong 63, i-expect natin na the answer has to be lower than 63. So, kung dito nag-increase ka, pero ang expectations mo, ang sagot would be uh, lower, or kabalik tala nung nangyari doon doon sa left side, then, hindi siya pwedeng itapat. Dito mo ilalagay yung 63 sa ilalim. Again, at any point, if you find na parang confusing naman ito, bakit hindi itatapat? I explained that in the other video, so watch that first, okay? Now, Ganyan ang mangyayari doon sa ating solution. Isosolve lang natin siya. So, iikot natin. Pwede mo simulan dito kasi ito yung pinakamataas. 63 divided by 9. We're using ratio, ratio rotation. 63 divided by 9 is 7. 7 times 9 is 49. So, the answer is 49 days. And just to make sure, analyze lang natin uli. 7 drillers, nagdagdag ka ng trabahante. So, syempre, yung trabaho, it will take them less time. The answer would be lower than 63. And 49 is lower than 63. So, tama tayo doon. It makes sense. Okay? Kasi, ang, again, ang principle natin, habang mas marami nagtutulong-tulong, it will take them less time. Okay? Now, let's try out this next problem. It says, 5 workers can produce 40 stuffed animals in a day. How many stuffed animals can 9 workers produce if they work at the same rate? Again, the first question would be, is it the direct or inverse proportion? Okay? Intindihin natin maigi ito. Yung 5 workers... Okay, nagpa-produce sila ng 40 stuffed animals. Yung 9 workers, tinahanap natin kung gaano karami ang mabibuild nila. Now, kung ang produkto, again, ang nagagawa ng lima ay 40, kung magdadagdag ako ng trabahante, mas dadami ba yung matatapos nilang stuffed animals o kukonte? Now, of course, kung magdadagdag ako ng trabahante, dadami yung gagawin nila, right? Kung ang lima kaya lang gumawa ng 40, yung 9, syempre, more than 40. And since ang relationship is increasing, at ang hini-expect nating sagot will also increase, this is actually a direct proportion. So, ang 40 na stuffed animals, ilalagay natin katapat dapat ng 5, which is going to be here, stuffed animals. Okay? Ito ang magiging X. Now, if na-trick ko kayo dito, sinadya ko yan, nilagay ko yan dyan just so to make sure na naiintindihan or ina-analyze nyo yung tanong. Hindi laging baliktad. Kapag direct proportion, again, kasi kanina, di ba, yung mga sample natin about time, kapag nagdagdag ka ng trabahante, syempre, it will take them less time to finish a job. Pero kung nagdagdag ka ng trabahante, yung produkto nila or mas napoproduce nila will also increase. So, direct na yung proportion nito. Kaya ganito na ang itsura niya. Okay? So, isasolve lang natin. Ikot lang natin siya. 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 times 9 is 72. So, the answer would be 72 stuffed animals. Again, just to make sure, check lang natin dun sa analysis natin. 5 workers nagpaproduce ng 40. Yung 9, syempre, more than 40 dapat. The answer is 72. More than 40 siya. So, we must be correct. Okay? So, again, kung naguluhan kayo dito, make sure that you analyze the problem first. The first thing you need to do is to understand kung direct or inverse proportion ba siya. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon para wala kayong ma-miss sa mga susunod na lessons pa na darating. Share nyo rin sa friends ninyo kung you feel na matutulungan sila. Lalo na kung magtatake sila ng aptitude test, whether it's uh, civil service, college entrance test, fail set, AFSAT, or anything like that. Hopefully, mas marami tayong matulungan na makapasa para makakuha kayo ng access sa mga jobs or sa schools na gusto nyong pasukan.
Okay? And again, if you have any requests or if you want, you want to reach out to me directly, find out how you can get one of the reviewers that I made or join the review programs that I developed, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. I would love to hear back from you. So thank you guys for watching. Aja aja kayo never stop learning. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.